Hello everyone, welcome to MBA Karo. In this series for Let's Learn Logarithm, this is the second video. In the first video, I discussed some of the properties of logarithms related to base and argument. In this video, I will discuss some more properties. So let's begin. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join my telegram group. The property of 0 and 1, very easy property. It says that when the argument is 1, the exponent will be 0. So we know that any number raised to the power 0 equals 1. So let us say if you have 2 to the power 0, that is 1. 3 to the power 0, that is 1. Okay, 5 to the power 0, that is 1. So log 1, whatever be the base, it is always 0. And if base and argument are equal, that is equal to 1. So very simple things. Uh, these are used for, especially for quadratic equations. So you will get questions in which you have to solve quadratic equations based on logarithms. So there, these properties will help you. Now this is a property of power of base and argument. What happens if the argument is raised to some power or the base is raised to some power? What happens to the values? So if we raise the argument to any power, so just remember one thing, you need to bring this value this side and let the base, uh, let the logarithm be as it is. So let us say, if I say log 3, 5 to the power 7, that means we will bring 7 this side and we will write log 3, 5. Now, if the power thing is on the base, so what we do, we again bring this, this side, but we take it the reciprocal of it. So let us say, if I have log 32, say a number 20. So this, we know that log 2 to the power 5, 20. Now this is the fifth power of 2. So we will make it 1 by 5. So when you take it this side, you take the reciprocal. Remember that if it is in the argument, you take it to the left hand side. If it is in the base, you take it to the left hand side with the reciprocal. So 1 fifth of log 2, 20. Now what if there is power in both base as well as argument? So in this case, this will go this side and become 1 by C. And this goes, D goes this side, it becomes into D. So it will be D by C log AB. Suppose I have to find log 8, 81. Now this can be written as log 2 to the power 3 and 3 raised to the power 4. Now this is 4th power, so we will write it in the numerator here, 4. And this is 3, so it will become 1 upon 3. So these rules and properties are used for simplifying values in logarithms. Let us solve some examples based on these properties. So let us say we have to write in simple, simple terms. Now this can be written as log 5, 2 raised to the power 7. So this can be written as log Now such kind of problems will be given to you based on different properties. So in this playlist, I'll be teaching different properties and towards the end, we will be solving different problems related to logarithms so that you become expert in this topic. Let's say we have to find log 27 base 7 in terms of 3 and 7. Okay, here it was in terms of 5 and 2. So 27 can be written as 3 raised to the power 3. So this becomes one third log three seven. So it is just about play with these properties. Whatever questions you get in logarithms are entirely based on these properties. So in the upcoming videos also we will discuss more properties. So log four eighty one. So log four is two square and eighty one is three raised to the power four. Now this can be written as four and 2 becomes 1 by 2. So it becomes log 2, 3. 
So this can also be written as two log two three. Now this is equivalent to. Let us say if we have to bring it back to this side, so this becomes log two and three ka whole square. That is nine. So log four eighty one is equal to log two nine as well. So this the reverse is also true. So if you have a power here, you can bring it to this side. Similarly, if you have a power here, you can bring it to the denominator as well. But the reverse of it. Okay. So let's say. We have two log two, three. So we brought the power this side. This becomes log two nine. But if we bring the power to the base, so we will bring the reciprocal of it. So it becomes log two raised to the power one by two nine. So you can say that it is sorry three. So log root two base three. so all these expressions have the same value let's look at the next example log 8 32 so this is 2 cube and 32 is 2 to the power 5 now this simplifies to 5 here because 5 comes to this side and 3 will become 1 upon 3 now this is the identity we saw That if the base and argument is the same, so we get one. So that is five by three into one, which is five by three. Similarly, let's say we have log one twenty five twenty five. So this is log five to the power three, and this is five square. So we'll bring two this side and three to the denominator, and log base is also five, argument is also five. That is equal to One, so it becomes two by three. So this was related to the powers in base as well as argument. So remember, if you have power in base, uh, sorry, power in argument, you take it this side and take it as it is. Like here it was seven, so it will become seven this side. But you have a power in the base. In that case, it becomes one upon nth power. So three to the power three that becomes one upon three. Two to the power two becomes one upon two. And if we have a combination of both, so this this goes to the numerator, this goes to the denominator. And through some examples, we saw this property being used. So in the coming videos, we will discuss some more properties, and at the end, you will be able to combine all these properties. to solve questions based on logarithms so i hope you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends if you are preparing for cat 2023 and are looking for a weekend online classes for cat you can enroll in my course uh, the link is given in the description of this video uh, it includes live classes some recorded concept videos practice sheets along with the classes doubt resolution through telegram group and full length mock test for cat 2023 so this was about some more properties related to the powers in base and argument in the coming videos i will be discussing some more properties of logs so please do watch the entire playlist